Hey YouTube, welcome to this next installment of the Evian blog. Today I thought, well, hey, let's look at something a little bit different. I have been recently commissioned to uh, set up and install a new UPS system to power a server rack and various computers in an office building. And as a spare, I have acquired a ProLine 48 volt DC inverter. Um, granted, it is my brother-in-law and he does uh, really help me out quite a lot. And um, the agreement is that I help him get the other system up and going and the old small unit I can make use of in my office come lab for powering test equipment or computers or whatever the case may be. But I thought, hey, what a perfect opportunity to have a look at how these things are put together, especially a nice commercial type uh, UPS backup system. Uh, 48 volts, so basically it's got four um, 7 amp hour gel cell batteries, uh, 7 yeah so it's got quite a bit of uh, power capability um, well let's have a, a squiz at this device and uh, see how she works um, I haven't had her on charge since uh, decommissioning her now for a few days so let's see if the batteries have held up and power her up and let's see how she performs uh, I'm quite interested to see if uh, the sine wave, if it is a pure sine output or a square wave output or what the case may be. Some of these, uh, even the high end inverter come uh, UPS units do actually output a modified sine wave or even a square wave. Some of them are pure sine. So I'd be keen to see what this one does. Let's have a look. Right, so in front of us now we've got our UPS unit. Uh, on the left over here you can see the, the battery pack and on the right the actual um, UPS inverter. So let's power it on. It's not plugged in or anything like that so let's just see what happens here. I've got a fan going. Um, input 0 volts 0 hertz. Output 220 volts 50 hertz and the battery is still showing full. Load 0. Let's see if I can get you guys in closer on that. There we have the information display which is actually quite nice I must say. Uh, I quite enjoy the fact that I can see the output on the inverter uh, and I can see the status of what's going on. So I think the next step would be to actually connect up the oscilloscope and have a look at the output of the inverter and see whether it is modified, sine or square wave or whatever the case may be. So I'll be back in a sec with the, um, the inverter hooked up to the oscilloscope. So judging from what I see here, the wave definitely does look uh, pretty sinusoidal, but you can see it is a modified sign because there is some switching in there, but it's definitely not a square wave, which is beautiful. Very, very, very well designed, guys. Um, yeah, that I'm quite impressed about, uh, especially for uh, one of these sort of battery powered inverter type systems. Yeah, we have the uh, inverter in operation powering the computer the server and various other items um, at the Evian lab. Great news, it works wonderfully for a couple of hours. Hey everybody, okay so we've had a look at that uh, pure sine wave or modified sine wave inverted UPS unit. Um, it is currently in operation in our lab, everything seems to be running quite nicely there. Um, I will in a later episode show you guys the full lab tour which will include a view of my big pure sine wave inverter system which we've installed using four 105 amp hour deep cycle batteries uh, that pretty much runs all the computers, lighting and etc inside the building. Uh, it does a fantastic job, uh, it suits our needs quite nicely from an ISP electronics lab point of view. Um, yes, we are also an internet service provider, so we have a massive server rack and such in place. And then uh, various other things uh, that are on the go at the moment. But guys, yeah, that um, if you're looking for a good power solution for sort of three to four hours, I can highly recommend those ProLine uh, 1900 watt uh, pure sine wave uh, UPSs. That specific UPS uses four 7 amp hour or 7.5 amp hour 12 volt deep, uh, well not deep cycle, but uh, gel cell batteries um, running in a 48 volt array. So we've got 48 volts going into the actual inverter come UPS, uh, which then gets converted to your 220 volts of AC. It does a very good job. I'm not gonna pull it apart again and, and, and show you guys all the insides, but we will do that if something goes wrong with it next time. 
But uh, let's get straight on to the next episode because I've been quite busy here in the lab. Take care, everybody. Until the next time.